Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and it is very good to be back. No show last week. You have an episode of the Burnley Dumb Show right here upon you. It's a beautiful time, Tuesday morning, afternoon. Maybe you wait to wait to Wednesday morning, whenever it is. We don't care. We're happy you're here. This is the only place you need to be. Let's go dancing. We got a lot to get into. We got a lot to catch up on. First things first, we had our Patreon meetup. For those who don't know, we want a Patreon where you get bonus content of the Brilliantly Dumb Show, bonus Bob, more of these characters. And for the people that have been supporting us for quite a long time, monthly, um, Really, really did a special meetup for everybody in New Jersey. I stayed at Bear Down Cuz's house. Fat Perez was there, who was the new rising star here of the Brilliantly Dumb program. Um, so we got a lot to talk about. Mikey V is going to be joining us. Bear Down Cuz, Joey Coldcuts will be joining us. We have an appearance out of Fat Perez, who just dominated the Las Vegas Shadow Creek content. Fat Perez is just too good to be true. I, I mean, this guy is really, really starting to pick up steam. He's an absolute character. He's an incredible golfer, um, real big fellow with a whole lot of personality. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even really say much, just such a hysterical, hysterical guy. He's like a cartoon character. Um, and he tore up the Shadow Creek uh, content that we had recently. Caddy Dre dominated we get an appearance from our producer Benny the Jet here today. So a lot to get into before we get into any of that. You know the drill. You know how we do things around here. It is our buy and sell segment time. What did you like that you saw this week? What did you not like that you saw this week? What are you buying? What are you selling? We treat food, restaurants, people, athletes like the stock market. What are you buying? What are you selling? Let's go dance. And I'm going to start us off right out of the gate with a sell. Um, I hate to do it because I, I, I really don't have anything against them. I'm selling the Dallas Cowboys after their horrific performance against the 49ers. And, and to be quite frank, I kind of feel bad for the Cowboys because people just love to tee off on this team and just bash them any chance they can. And I, I don't really have anything against them. I hate the Giants, so I root for the Cowboys, naturally. Their quarterback, Dak Prescott, very classy guy, as classy as they come. Love a classy quarterback. I have nothing against them. Jerry Jones, is he a little bit obnoxious? Yes. A little bit of an egomaniac? Yes. But so was George Steinbrenner. I never had anything against George Steinbrenner. They just want to win. And they laid an egg against the 49ers in a game that they had to win. You have to get by the first round there. Um, they don't totally lay, laid an egg. Horrific coaching. I mean, they did some things between penalties that you just can't have. They couldn't stay on sides on the defensive side of the ball. Mike McCarthy runs a fake punt. They get the fake punt and then they keep the special teams on the field to try and trick the 49ers into jumping off sides or taking a timeout. The Cowboys have to take a timeout. The QB sneak at the end of the game. Just, just, just real, real ugly stuff out of the Dallas Cowboys yesterday. And one more thing that I wanted to say on the football note, also why I'm selling the Cowboys. When you're at the 50 yard line with 20 seconds left. Okay. Here's my theory. Maybe I'm wrong about that. You're at the 50 yard line. Cowboys are at the 15, 50 yard line, 19 seconds left. Wouldn't you prefer to throw? You need it. You need a touchdown. Wouldn't you prefer to throw one to two, maybe three, Hell Mary's at the end zone, have a chance of getting a pass interference, have a chance of somebody catching the ball rather than waste another 15 seconds to try and get to the 20 yard line and then just have one shot at the end zone from the 20 yard line. Just my theory, just my thoughts that we don't talk about enough. I'd almost rather throw the Hell Mary two to three times. Maybe it gets picked off. So be it. But you run the shot at a pass interference and being at the one, and then you run the shot of somebody catching it three tries instead of getting 30 yards closer with one try at the end zone, bang the Cowboys at the end. They didn't even end up getting that last pass off. Got to win that football game. And now they're just going to get teed off on by the media. It's going to be a long, long off season for the Dallas Cowboys, which is the way it's been for the last 10, 12 years, whatever it has been. Um, sell the Dallas Cowboys. Something that I am going to buy. 
first class airline seats. Now I know you're thinking, oh, wow, Bob, that's easy to say. Yeah, no shit. If we could sit first class, we would sit first class. I get that. I know. But I have never flown first class until two days ago or yesterday, actually. Coming back from New Jersey after the Patreon meetup, all in the same week, we had Las Vegas, which was an absolute bender. And if you're talking benders, you're talking Fat Perez, who's going to be joining us. Vegas was a bender. Then we went to New Jersey, a lot of drinking in New Jersey. It, it was a lot. It was a great time, but it was exhausting. I said to myself, you know what? I've never sat first class. I'm going to. This is going to be the time. I don't give a shit what it costs. I'm upgrading to first class. I want to experience it for the first time in my life. And I will tell you this. It is exceptional. It's absolutely exceptional. If you could save up the money, spend an extra two, three hundred, maybe even four hundred dollars just to feel what first class feels like. I went on to this flight and I slept better in that first class bed because it's a seat, but it's also a bed with the full recline. Um, I slept better there than I do in my own bed. The setup was great. Big TV ahead of you. You have people serving you breakfast. They give you a Saks Fifth Avenue pillow that was sensational. A Saks Fifth Avenue um, fucking blanket. Phenomenal. I did not want the flight to end. That's how much I was enjoying this. And I swear to you, I had the football games right ahead of me. Wi-Fi was phenomenal. And I slept like a baby. I was reclining, declining, inclining that chair all over the board. I fell asleep throughout the breakfast serving and I woke up and was craving one of the waffles that they were serving. Now I thought I missed my mark. I went up there to go ask for if I could still have my waffle. Not a problem, sir. We'll get that right out to you. Flight attendant zapped it in whatever microwave, wherever the hell they put that thing. And it tasted great. Did it taste great because of the situation of being first class? You never get served the waffles nowadays in the economy. Maybe. But it was special. And if you don't think for a second, I'll be working my ass off even harder to make sure that I could take more first class flights. You got another thing coming. It was exceptional. I would go back. I'm always on the wrong side of the curtain and economy. I would go from first class and just open up that curtain and look at all the people in the back and economy. It was very special. Very, very special. Next flight, I'll be right back to economy. But just to experience this, and we talked about it with Bear Down Cuz, Joey Cold Cuts, to experience this was unbelievable. I mean, it, it, it really, really lives up to the hype. Do it once, get the feeling, get the taste of that, and you will do everything in your power to get back there. Buy the first class airline ticket. Um, next thing that we're going to buy this is not an ad. It is an ad, but it's not an ad. Prize picks. Promo code Bobby Props, but again, not an ad. Um, Prize picks has golf betting coming up, and we are going to be hammering golf bets like you wouldn't believe. But it's not just your regular golf betting. They have over under Jordan Spieth greens and regulations. They have over under whatever par they're going to be at. Every golf bet you can imagine. Now, we never really hit the golf betting hard. This will be the first year that I am railing golf bets like there is no tomorrow. Live golf bets, over under golf bets, um, who wins the match, all types of golf bets. Prize picks is going to have that coming. Um, promo code Bobby Props, but again, that is not an ad, but promo code Bobby Props, buy your stock and prize picks, especially with golf season coming in. I'm happy to say Bobby Props is an investor of prize picks, not just an ambassador, an investor too. buy your fucking stock in prize picks. And then finally, I'm going to buy you something else here. I'm going to buy something else. So we got one sell and we got three buys this week. Usually it's 50-50, but this item I wanted to buy because I think it's going underappreciated lately because we've had it for so long and we're so used to it. Pistachios. Boy, does a good pistachio hit. Am I wrong? I mean, pistachios are so fucking good that we're making ice cream out of pistachios. We're doing pistachio ice cream. I've seen restaurants doing pistachio crusted fish 
recently, and it's spectacular. Are pistachios expensive? Yes, no question about it. But so is the cashew that I think is being slept on as well. I actually like the pistachios pistachios that are in the shell because then you got to work for it. And then you take a little bit of a break in between each pistachio. So you have more an appreciation for your pistachio. If you buy the bags of pistachios that come with all pistachios and you don't have to deshell it, not as enjoyable. Work for your pistachio and most importantly, respect the pistachio because it is phenomenal. I don't know how I should label it, fruit, nut, whatever it is. Buy the pistachio and let's not sleep on those things. It's fantastic. Lately, I've been into pistachio ice cream, pistachios across the board. Pistachios are back like they've never left because they haven't. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's go time. It's time we move on over to Bear Down Cuz, Joey Cold Cuts. These boys have been lighting it up. They've been skyrocketing downloads, which has been just incredible. The banter's always at an all-time high. And again, I am coming off a weekend staying at Bear Down Cuz's house. Fat Perez, new character, if you don't know him, took over the content this weekend. He's going to be joining us. Joey Cold Cuts, of course, as outrageous as ever. Bear down, cuz Joey Cold Cuts. It's go time. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dump Show to let you know that I love cereal. We all love cereal. The loving cereal seems to come at a price. Thanks to the boys and girls over at Magic Spoon, Cereal doesn't have to be unhealthy anymore. It could be good. It could be flavorful. And most importantly, it could be healthy too. I've been drinking protein shakes, powders for years, but finally found a way to get my cereal fix in while being healthy, while getting all the ingredients that I need to get in. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, most importantly, low-carb. Variety packs are four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Try Magic Spoon today. Take it from Bob. Go to magicspoon.com slash dumb to grab a variety pack and get it today. Be sure to use our promo code dumb, D-U-M-B, at checkout to save $5 off your first order. Remember, Get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash dumb and use the code dumb, D-U-M-B, to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode and providing a damn good cereal. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by paintyourlife.com. Memories are what it's all about. You can't beat them. It's what keeps the world spinning and what keeps the people happy are good old memories. And now with paintyourlife.com, you could hold on to those memories for a lifetime. Travel's back. Now that we can get out, travel, take vacations, we want to celebrate some of our favorite times by turning our new memories into art. When you hear about paintyourlife.com, you won't look back. You want a good gift idea? Paintyourlife.com. Get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. It's a user-friendly platform that makes it easy to order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. It's fast and most importantly, you can receive your portrait in as little as two weeks. Starting right here now at paintyourlife.com come. There's never been a risk. There still isn't a risk. If you don't love the painting, your money is refunded. Guaranteed. And right now as a limited time offer, get 20% off your painting. That's right. 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word DUMB, D-U-M-B, to 64,000. That's DUMB to 64,000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Terms apply available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. Again, that's dumb to 64,000. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Giuseppe DeMar, please check in with the only dumb face. Jesus Christ. Giuseppe DeMar, are you with us? I'm here, Bob. Hey, always, Joe. Always stuff in his face. 
with with the strawberry. You talk about probably the last thing that you want to be eating on a podcast just to really disrespect the viewership. It would probably be a strawberry or some sort of fruit. Am I am I wrong? Am I because a strawberry is juicy. A strawberry makes a lot of noise. Tell you what, that is a large strawberry too. That looks more like a fucking apple than a strawberry. Look at that thing. <laughs> so well, you is, kept me in the waiting that, room for so long, Bob. I got hungry. You know, that, you know? That's, that's, not, or, that's not organic. That strawberry. There's no oh, way. It's got to be organic. No, not with the size. That's got more steroids in it than the Ultimate Warrior. In 89. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my TV started off. Uh, is it a is it an organic strawberry, Joseph? I'd have to check the box. I'm oh, that's, how that's quickly enough. he that's flipped. Enough. That's enough. That I is mean, probably is. which is fine. Which is fine. It's fine, but just don't say it's an organic strawberry if it's not an organic. Strawberry. And if we want to call a spade a spade, we're doing a breakfast pod. You know, it, it would hurt pod. to have a little bit of a breakfast with breakfast the podcast. Pod. Bob. Breakfast pod. Breakfast pod. Breakfast pod. Have a cup of coffee. Don't need euthanized over here because I'm having a strawberry on the entrance of the show. Next, he's going to be eating fucking Cracker Jacks. He's going to have Pop Rocks in his mouth while he tries to record. Um, gentlemen, I got a really special surprise for you boys today. Um, but before anything, I need to address something because I came in the hot seat last week and I think I deserved every single bit of it. And you know what? You may want to join me in the hot seat too, Joe, but I do think this is more me. Last week, we went to Las Vegas. Me, you, Fat Perez, who really took over the internet. Um, and then Back Nine Chuck, who hosted us on the scholarship trip to Las Vegas, Shadow Creek Golf Course. Uh, just really a tremendous, tremendous time. But we got just outrageously drunk. And come Monday night, um, we were coming back from Shadow Creek. We were belligerently drunk and we were going to record the podcast we got a text from mikey v that his basement was leaking it was pissing rain in new jersey yeah we took that excuse not an excuse because his basement was leaking but we took that as a lifeline to totally get out of the podcast because the bottom line is we were in no shape or form to I record that rally. podcast uh, Joseph, could of you, course, of course, you of course. This, I'm man. just saying I could have rallied, Bob. It would have been tough, but that's, you know, when, well, they, when not... the going gets tough, the tough get going. I just think that, we, you know, I don't know how the pod would have been. I'm not saying it would have been a phenomenal podcast, but we, I would have been able to get one out. You, on the other hand, you, you know, once your tank is near empty, that's it. There's nothing left. You, you just, you just, you refuse to dig deeper, Bob. That's no. not true. Come uh, on. No, they, you so know, to come on here yeah. and make those type of accusations and to, to really question my integrity. Hang on. The guy was in bed every night by 11 o'clock, 1130. Well, Las Vegas, fucking Nevada. The guy's in bed by 1130. He had to get his seven to eight hours in. Let's call I've never seen let's, anything like it. But he let's had call. The one night, the one night we were out with this, you know, I don't want to go into details. He had a fucking a very nice evening planned ahead of him and he just departed to his chamber oh, like fucking old man this? winkle here <laughs> i and i i never seen anything old like man There's no winkle. convincing him otherwise and he just stayed at your house and you can you can attest to this no mikey old man winkle um listen <laughs> listen i'll say this is that he sure he sure came out of vegas a little bit better shape than you did joseph I did, yeah. says the guy who got COVID, says I mean, the guy who was playing craps till four in the morning, could taking have been every, a, I, could have been I, the 4 a.m. crap session. And, oh, you know, no. and, oh, yeah, here we oh, go. No. Oh, Should have no. been in bed by 11. And you know what? I'll say, I'll, I'll say this. You're right about me going to bed early. And when I'm done, I'm done. That's it. And as the years have gone by for me, Joseph, I've come to a point in my life where I don't, I, when I'm ready to go to bed, I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. And, and here, here's what I'll say, Joe, when I'm there, when I'm out, how many times have I ever delivered to you, Joe, out of a thousand times that we've gone out, what percentage have I delivered a bad performance where you've came back and you said, you know what, Bob <laughs> didn't have his A stuff tonight. I mean, there've been a few handfuls. Come on, I mean, come on, Joseph. What's the percentage? Bear down. I, I'm, I, I don't, I mean, Bob, you're normally good. I'm not talking about how you are when you're out with the guys. I'm saying that it's fascinating to me because you're, you're 29 years old, 28, 
well, your your birthday's in two months, Bob. So essentially you're Correct. 29 and, and, and you're going on 65. It's just, there's no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You, you, you know, that's why you fit so well in with the Jupiter retirement community, because well. essentially you're right there mentally, you know, the pickleball, the fucking, you know, the four thirty, the early bird dinners, <laughs> the, the whole nine yards. I like to go to dinner early. It's right up your alley. And I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying it needs to be addressed. But on, there's times where we'll be over at his house on a Sunday, okay? Yeah. He mm -hmm. likes to have the guy, you know, when we do the football Sundays. And at the end of the evening, after the night game is done, it'll be like 9.30, 10 o'clock, because we're on the Pacific time zone. And, and the, you know, we're, we're kind of just coming down. We've had a euphoric high. This guy doesn't even say anything. He goes in, takes a shower, and walks into his room, closes his room, and goes to bed. And there's four guys in the living room still fucking getting after it. Well, I'll, I'll say my goodbyes. I'll say you guys hang out. I don't mind if you guys hang out. But I, I, I'll, I'll dab everybody up and say I, I've hit my well, time. Well, it ends at night. We're not going to hang out in your living room while you're sleeping in your bedroom. When I when I hit that wall, I'm done. I got I saw that in full force on Saturday night. Saturday night. Well, now, Friday night, Bob, Bob was... Was, Bob was in Bob was in his prime on Friday night. Bob wanted to keep, so Bob, no Bob was attempting. We so we placed the bet on the Memphis Grizzlies Friday night and hit. And that was a late a late night game. I mean, that was whatever time zone Memphis Grizzly. I don't know who they. I don't even know who the fuck they were playing. But we had Memphis Grizzlies and under it hit. Uh, and then we took UNLV college basketball second half, which is like another insane late start, like an eleven o'clock tip, whatever it was. After we hit that one, so we hit back to back games, we're up like 700. And Bob is insisting that we bet another game. And I said, Bob, it's like two in the morning. There are no games left. That's it. It's over. It's done. So Friday night, Friday night, Bob was full fledged getting after it. Saturday night, Saturday night, when he was done, he retired to the cave. I was like, Are you sure? He's like, Yeah, yeah, pal. That's it. <laughs> I said, I said, okay, no problem, Same. Bobby. And then I opened the door ever so slightly. I said, Bobby B. And I hear from the basement. I hear from the basement. No, no, no. I hear from the basement. Mikey V. I said, good night, pal. He goes, good night, pal. Love you. And that was it. And that was it. The lights were all off. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. That was you like know what? a light. 1030. That's and, it. 11 o'clock. In my defense, I had a and very I agree, early flight. Very early flight. Very early flight. Very early but when flight. I go to sleep with these apps, it's not like I'm now getting up at 10 in the morning. I'm waking up. I'm up 6 30 in the morning. I go, I work out, I got my routine. Is it very am I turning into my dad? Yeah. Yeah. I, I see it. Me leaving the, the Raiders game, the guest best game of the year. I wanted to leave because of the traffic. That was very alarming to me. It's a lot of stuff I know. I'm 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 forming into my dad faster than I thought. But the bottom line is I I like to go to bed early. And when I'm done, I used to feel bad and everybody say, no, Bob, stay up, stay up. I don't care anymore. I don't care. No, there's nothing to care. There's nothing. I go no. out, I deliver the best performance possible. And when I'm done, I'm done. I leave on a high note. Um, somebody who did not leave on a high note. Um, and again, we stayed at Mikey V's for the weekend, um, which we didn't add. I did. It, hospitality, as Mikey V said that it would be unbelievable slept in the cave the 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 bear cave that we're looking at now in mikey v screen is as good as advertised it is such a special place to go down watch a game he had creamer in the morning for me um holly his wife made pancakes in the, the spread from holly looked amazing. it was it, it was as good as advertised it really was um somebody who's really really hurting that we're going to bring in now um, and I got a special treat for you boys. And again, he took <laughs> over the internet and you talk about leaving as, I mean, the, his exit from New Jersey, he went on a full week bender. Um, this guy can party unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, the ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to go ahead. Just coming off his one week bender. He went harder than ever. We're getting, getting a uh, performance here from fat, Perez, big old fella. The name speaks a lot of words right there, and he has taken over the internet. Let's give a nice warm round of applause for Fat Perez, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Is Let's he bring in it. Here? He is in. We got Fat Perez live here from Virginia. And this is <laughs> I thought you worked today, Perez. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of. The strongest <laughs> benders I, I think that I have ever seen. Perez, would you agree with that? 
Yeah, strong. That probably might not be the word that I feel right now. But. <laughs> and back to back too, Bob. If you think about the fact that it was just after Vegas, where I mean, the guy was not. I, you want to talk about not stopping Perez? Now, Bobby, I I can't get him to stay out. I couldn't pull Perez to get back to the room. It'd be two thirty in the morning. He was ready to keep going and order more Miller Lights. I've never seen anything like. And it. the thing with Perez, by the way, uh, one of the best golfers you'll ever see in your life. And when you put him on the story, people can't believe his swing. I mean, it's it, he's one of the best golfers I've played with. But <laughs> the party in him is out of this world. Um, but Perez, and I'm sorry to put you on the spotlight here. Uh, I want Bear Down to describe the last night. Perez is on the, the last night of his bender. Um, it's it's the last night Perez is going hard. He's got to drive back to Virginia the next day. And Mikey V, if you could, you had Perez over to the house for the, the post game. Yep. If you could take us through your angle of what took place with Fat Perez the last night of his bender. Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to just say that it was absolute pleasure meeting <laughs> Nick in person. It was an absolute yeah, pleasure. It was great to meet I, you as well. I, I think that this man is, a, I think he's a gentleman. First and foremost, my wife truly enjoyed his company. He was polite. He was very, cl- he was very clean. He was, I, I, mean, I don't hear he that was, a lot. He was fantastic. He was fantastic. Uh, the performance was unlike anything I've, I've seen in, in quite some time. Uh, to describe what happened in the end of the night, so everyone's back at the place uh, for the little post game action. Everybody leaves. Uh, Nick was debating, you know, how he was going to get back to the hotel. We finally figured out the Uber for him. So Perez, he leaves. He gets in the Uber. He leaves. Goes to the hotel. About an hour later, I'm watching TV on the couch, and my wife is about to go upstairs. And you know, to get upstairs, you got to walk past our front door, which is where all the shoes. Everyone, you know, everyone takes their shoes off in my house because I got the kids. So you know, shoes come off at the front door. And she's walking up the stairs and she stops at the first stair and she goes, you know, something, something's not right with these shoes. There, there's these random like single shoes here. And I go, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> she goes, no, no, no. Look, look at the shoe. And I look and there's a canvas Navy, no canvas, <laughs> Royal blue Sperry, a canvas, Royal blue Sperry and a leather like loafer sneaker style. Now, one of each. So that means something is going on. So my first thing is thinking, well, okay, let's see what shoes Perez put on before he left. I mean, there's no way that this man, because the one shoe is significantly smaller than the other shoe. Oh, significantly. And, yeah. and I mean, Jet has to put the, the picture up of the shoes. And the shoes are different material. One's canvas, one's leather. One's royal <laughs> blue. The other one is gray. I mean, like a light gray. So I text Perez. I go, hey, pal. Any chance that you have on two different shoes? And he, he uh, there was a pause, so he must have, like, I'm picturing him taking a look down at his feet. <laughs> and all I get back is a picture of his feet with the blue shoe on the left and the gray shoe on the right. And just abs- absolutely. How belligerent were you? I, mean, I, 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 I put them on. I left his house. I got in the Uber. I got out of the Uber. I walked in the hotel. I uh, met, you know, there's some people staying there. So I went like to their room to hang out for a little bit, have a drink. An hour goes by and at no point, at no point do I notice that like I've got a two different shoes on and B they're, they don't, they're not even close to the same size. No. Didn't notice <laughs> Can't you feel it I when you're walking for us? Like, no, no, apparently not. I mean, <laughs> apparently not. So I get the text and I'm like, what's this guy talking about? And I just look down. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> now, <laughs> It's, it's, so bad. Bad. <laughs> it's not a good feeling in that moment. You think you're like, you know, you, I'm in total control. I, I, got, I know everything I'm doing right now. And then to quickly realize that, no, no, you are completely out of control. You have no idea what you're doing with yourself. That's what we love cool. about you, Perez. So I got to get my flight the next morning, but now I don't have one of my shoes because he has my <laughs> shoe. And there were so many times in the night or just even the week where I'm looking over at Perez and I'm thinking, this guy's still partying. Like this guy is still going. And, and I, I got one more special surprise, but I want to read the text from Bear Down to me that he texted me because I was already asleep, of course. 
I wake up in the morning for my flight. This is from Bear Down Cuz. Bob, comma, just be prepared. Perez wore your shoe, in parentheses, singular, home. He accidentally wore one of his shoes and your shoe home. God knows when you'll see the shoe again. An absolute astounding <laughs> development. Can't make it up. And then I wake up. It was one of the biggest weekly benders I have ever seen and then this man wakes up and drives back oh. to virginia oh and my god there was a so called me that awful. night and we were i i could not stop laughing we were howling i'm telling you i was in tears i was in tears crying in tears. Now, and now so perez gets home he gets to virginia and i had the wherewithal if i don't say so myself to ask Perez to show him, to show us the Nest Cam, the camera that he has outside of his house <laughs> of him walking back in from this bender after this five-hour drive. Fellas, I'm going to share the screen here. Watch Perez, okay? <laughs> you're, you're looking at a man at rock bottom. Hold on. Let me see, do you had to, and bear down, he had to drive through a fucking five hours through a snowstorm. Not, not like that is as bad as it gets. <laughs> We were getting banged up so bad on our bets yesterday, Bear Down. I said, no matter what, no matter how much I lose, it could always be worse because I could be Perez at this moment. Yeah. And then we FaceTimed him, and the guy just looked – he just looked helpless. I felt so bad for him. I yeah. um, yeah. You know what? It's not It's not playing on here, but we're going to play it on the YouTube. I'm sorry, Perez. But, but to watch Perez come back into his house – in the middle of the snowstorm, just yeah. banged up is, is truly remarkable. So, um, Fat Perez, you really did. You you took over the internet this week. We appreciate you on behalf of that bender. And I will tell you, you are really up to something special, young man. Yeah, I'm gonna sit the next couple of plays out for <laughs> okay. my wins, and uh, I'll see you boys on the other side. You go get back to work, Perez. Later, boys. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I mean, came in on the Doug Flutie. I, was that, I mean, cuts. am I wrong? Was that not one of the craziest benders you've ever seen in your life? He, he's an animal. There were mornings when we were waking up, I legit thought he was dying. He was just moaning like a, like he was in <laughs> utter pain. And then within, I can't make this up. I was like, I said to Bob, the first day when we were going to Shadow Creek, I said, there's no way he's going to be able to get out to the course. He was so banged up. He goes over and he, he's so drunk. He just starts drinking again. He shot one over par. I shot, he never played the course before. Like, I mean, it's, it's mind blowing. When you see him, you think this guy is going to barely be able to hit a ball. Yeah. And then he gets out there and it's just like, man. He is dialed in. It's, he's it's he's he's built, to watch. He's built differently than than most human beings, bro. That is he's, correct. He's, 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 more he has in one. He has a motor that just is. I mean, it's got to be the size of a. I don't know to keep him uh, operating at the level in which he does. It's got to be like a motor made for an eighteen wheeler tractor trailer. Just, <laughs> just, a, just an absolute diesel fueled engine, bro. For you him know, to keep going. What was great Unreal. to see is, and we had the Patreon meetup this weekend. We we had everybody out at the bar for everybody that's part of the Patreon membership that we have. Um, when Perez walked in through Bear Down Store, mind you, I've met Perez numerous times to see how just in all bear down was of fat Perez to me watching that from a third party was, was really special to see. Was that really. your first time meeting him? I had never met him in person, obviously. Um, and it, I, I, he was everything I, I expected him to be. And then some, he, his, his billing is completely accurate. His billing is completely accurate. I was expecting a certain performance. I think he gave more than I even could ever have dreamed of. And to put the cherry on top though, just a fantastic human being. A fantastic human. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great guy. And my goodness, is he fucking hysterical? He is oh. fucking hysterical, bro. Hysterical. Um, and then just other thing. I mean, maybe I'm missing a few things that happened during the week. Katsi, um, yesterday we took a party under, which we love a good under bet um, last night. it I definitely think it, it was a little bit forced for sure. It was and absolutely forced. It was. A, I, I think it was a forced under. For sure. Um, but you had a little bit of an issue with the jet who was in on the group chat. He was in on the party under with us. And then he, he was nowhere. He was nowhere to be found throughout the under. All right. Here's my thing. And bear down. Tell me if I'm wrong here. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I go in on a bet that I do not want to necessarily go in on. Okay. 
Uh, Bob and friends, I don't understand how. They love these unders. I personally can't stand it. it. It drives me nuts. But listen, for the sake of the team, if that's the right play, if that's the right bet, I will go in and I will be a team player. That being said, there is a couple of prerequisites, okay? The, the prerequisite is if we're in a party bet, there should be some dialogue going in a, in a group text message throughout the game from start to finish. I'm going so to say I'm going to say this right away with that. Unless it's been established that the person joining the party bet says before the game, listen, I'm working or I got something going on. I'm not going to be able to communicate a lot throughout the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that, you do yeah, a lot of time. Fine. If that's like you the do, case. like if you're working, you, you, we know you're working. Like I'm not going to be able to be by the phone all the time. I'm not going to be able to commentate. So that should be, if that's established in the beginning, no issues. No. But if not established, you expect everybody to participate because the premise is it's a party bet. We're in this together. We're going to talk each other through it. We're going to be there to have each other's backs. When one guy's down, we bring him up and we're going to see this thing to the end. So we start off the game. Okay. This is the Steelers and Kansas City game. Why we took the under, by the way, I, I have no fucking idea. But anyways, regardless, yeah. we're, we're doing very well. The first quarter, no points. I got ticket messaging off the hook, leaving audio voice messages. This is amazing. We're looking great. This yep. is spectacular. The Jets in it. Bob's in it. Then all of a sudden, the second quarter comes up, okay? The Steelers get that fluke fucking defensive touchdown, and I say right away, oh, my God, this is going to open the floodgates. It's the worst fucking thing that could have happened. Both teams were feeling each other out. Now we're done. And – it proceeds to have five touchdowns in that fucking quarter. And all of a sudden, I'm still messaging, come on, guys, what are we going to do? Silence. I don't hear from the ticket. I don't hear from Bob. I don't hear from Jet. And I'm stranded on a desert island here, bear down, on a pick that I did not want to make to begin with. And there's nobody even remotely coming through and saying, you know what, cut, see if we could get a stop here or whatever. Like nothing. Is that not terrible? You're like, uh, jet, you're like the Tom, way, Tom Hanks and Castaway. You had nobody. Yeah, I was. And then the jet is, he goes, I'm going to watch the Sony open. Cause I have a Deki Matsuyama to win. Oh, and boy. if he wins then I get my money back. So the jet bails mid game yeah. Yeah. and starts watching the fucking open on well, a Sunday I, night playoffs. I, I'm like, Bob, what am I doing? Tickets cap, nowhere to be seen. The captain That's and the crew golf. Well, captain, I, captain and the crew have to go down with the ship. You oh, go down with the ship. You terrible. sink down with the ship. It is and I, is. and I, I do agree. And I will, I'll, I'll say this too. I'll say this. I think the jet is doing us no favors to our gambling habits. Now, as far as the show goes, we need the jet. We have to have the jet. We love the jet. However, oh. I think the jet to, oh. to, to bail on that party under. And then, I mean, with the amount of stuff that this guy's having us take and something that we got to call him out for, Jet's given us maybe five picks. He's over for five. He's the biggest mush of all time. I love him, but he said I love, love the Cowboys him. yesterday, and we well, saw. Well, let's him. let's let's bring him in. I got the Jet here. We got a lot of guests here tonight. We got the Jet. <laughs> let's 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 bring the oh. Jet. <laughs> Joe, talk a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, uh -oh. Jet. We Jet. We gotta we gotta have a conversation here with you. Okay, Cutsy yeah, was Cutsy was a little upset last night. Okay, we went on a party under, and again, I we we forced. I think we forced the under. Oh, can I uh, can I ask who, who's it. who's play was the under tickets this oh. guy couldn't sniff out an under if it hit him in the face <laughs> uh, you know killing. taking taking unders in a two touchdown spread game is always a, a dangerous proposition because if vegas is setting the spread at a two touchdown oh, amount yeah. you know that means that they think the one team is going to put up quite a few um, quite a few points so it's always a little dangerous to go that route but continue I'm sorry. Uh, i will say we we drag cuts in on a lot of unders that he doesn't want to do um i i love the under but here's the problem that we have though jet is that it was a confirmed yep. it was a confirmed party under everybody was riding on the under we have the group chat going it's buzzing to start the game clocks ticking not a lot of points and then i think where cuts he's upset is Cutsy, am I wrong? Then Jet just kind of goes AWOL on us. And because he goes over to the golf, because he's got a bet now on the golf. Cutsy, you could get it out. No, if you want to do the golf, 
by all means, the golf <laughs> is there for you. But to message the group chat saying you are going to the golf is just basically saying this game's done. Have fun with it. I'm moving on to Hideki Matsuyama. And 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 that's just for the for the morale of the squad, Jet. It just it So hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't I don't know what you, what you guys covered already, but I was not I was not in I had told you guys I said I'm not I don't you it was an over under, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody knows I don't bet over unders. Okay, that's first of all. So when you guys said <laughs> when you had what do you mean you don't bet over? No, no, let him go. I like he, this. He's not on. laying down. No, 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 no. Here's what happened. I don't know what you guys covered. That's the problem. But I was never in on the second bet. I was there for the moral support. But then once Hideki started making a little run, I had to you know shift my focus. And the chat was starting to I think die down a little bit, anyways. So I didn't. I don't think it's on me that that the morale was low for the for the for the Cowboys or for the Chiefs under. So, Jed, am I to believe that you were you were not even invested in this over under pick? You didn't even you didn't you did not partake in this pick, is what you're saying? I was I was not a part of the pick. No, because wow. but, but oh, no, but not was, because never, not that, was, yeah, see, that was this is no, news no, no, to no. me. Now, if I knew not, Jed oh wasn't God, in on the I, under, I'll on, say this right now. Second. I think I won't though. If I would have been, in, have on been in on it, this, this is was a, hold on. My I had the cow. I gave the Cowboys pick. It was a bad pick. Okay? Yes, it was. So I yes, said, it was. Okay, oh, whatever. Bro. Everybody, we all make bad picks. That's fine. Oh, so do I we said, ever, Jet? So Mike I McCarthy's said, not I'm gonna. To bet I'm on. gonna sit this out, but I'm gonna support everybody. Also, I had put my, you know, the remaining balance on Hideki Matsuyama, who's my boy now, and that's it. Like I don't know. Did he like, win? I, by I, the I way, didn't get in. He did win. He did oh, win. Michael run on the back yeah. end. Nice job, he Jet. Did. He did. Nice job. He did. Very nice. Very nicely done. You and need then, you need a golf pick. I that's that's pretty much all I know. That's life. fine. Well, because that's the fine. other the other thing that we need to discuss yet is me and Cutsy did think about it last night, and yeah. I think on the picks that you've given us for party picks and Bear Down really started <laughs> the party pick because right. I think you really kind of initiated that Bear Down like a party pick. Everybody's riding together. We're in the group chat together. We're mm-hmm. experiencing the game together. I think Jed is over five on his party picks. Oh. Can, can I say this though? I don't know. I it don't, it no, is I very don't. difficult. And Jed, um, this is kind of like, I don't know if it's in your defense, but I just have to make a statement. This crew is impossible to just give. Like, I just want to take one thing in this game. Oh yeah. <laughs> One thing in that that doesn't work with these guys. It doesn't work. Where's the prize picks? What do you like in the over under? <laughs> if I like something in the over under, I'd fucking tell you I like the over under. I like the spread. Just stick with what I, I gave. Also, cuts. I'm not, I'm wait, not a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, now I gave a nickel He's getting play. Heated. I gave a nickel play Thank yesterday you. morning when cuts. As soon as cuts eyeballs fucking open when he comes <laughs> off the pillow. As soon as eyeballs, boys, boys. Boys, what do we like today? What do we like today, yeah. boys? What do we like to well, if you- I so I screenshot a nickel play, Jet, which is which is street talk for 500. A right. nickel play teaser, a five hundred dollar teaser, bucks minus one, uh San Francisco plus nine, uh Chiefs minus seven. That's the play I sent. And cuts locked it into his credit, but of course. He's got to take then. Then he takes the Eagles. He takes yeah. the Eagles. Yeah. And he oh, goes, oh, he oh, goes yeah. no, there's a way I could win I both. That's what he says. He goes, well, there's a way I could win both. He's got, I go, this is, this is impossible to do. It's impossible. I don't know if you do this. They love, they love betting both sides of the same game, which is torture. They want to, they want to like land right in the sweet spot. It's difficult enough. to just leave, get and, then you're rooting, the and then spot, there's I've nothing them, sweeter. They, they, you, root, you end up rooting against yourself when you do that. Also, Bear down. If when you call a play, when you say like this is my nickel play, I start getting big. So like you can't be naming plays because then like you know people well, that gets everybody going. I'll, look, I'll, I'll take I'll take some credit for this, but I think the main person who needs to be addressed for this is Cutsy because I, I think Cutsy day to day will bet the entire board. He's putting an NBA second half during football games. I do think that Cutsy is really the one to point the finger at here for sure no i disagree i listen i you know at the end of the day 
ticket want ticket cost me a lot of money yesterday let's just call spade a spade okay <laughs> because tickets eagles he goes i need you with me on the eagles he's my boy i'm gonna be with him on the on the eagles i, I that's just i'm i'm just a loyal person says, and it joe, costs but, me but, all the time but, for being joe, that's a loyal the thing friend. that's the thing this has nothing to do with loyalty this has nothing to do with the ticket the ticket is a total separate chat and you continue to bring up the ticket into this conversation that's a total separate thing i'm saying that's the reason i went in on the eagles was to be a loyal friend try to help support him to get to a win now, and there's multiple ways i could have won both ways uh, but but if there no, are no there's no there's not the eagles didn't even score a point until like well the yeah no, it did game. turn into fruition <laughs> it was a disaster. but you know theoretically there was there was multiple you know there there was a lot of opportunity you know I bob i spend a lot of time trying to do my homework on these games and i really try to deliver the you best do. i can for joe i really and it's mostly for joe at this point because i really am trying to carry him <laughs> to the next level of sports yeah. gambling and i put in all that work and he goes well i gotta tell you bear down i'm on the <laughs> eagles too and there's a way i can hit both there's a way i can hit both now and then now what we have with the new development that we talked about last week and i'll tell you this the jet is to me one of the most fun people to gamble with he speaks the language he gets it, it it's a blast betting with them but the dynamic now of the jet coming into this it does no favors for cutsy he's got cutsy betting touchdown field goals on drives to where now you throw the jet into this whole recipe and i just think it's a recipe for a disaster jet i'll let you speak on that i, I mean it could be recipe for disaster it also could be recipe for success like you just yep. you just never know yeah. also so a couple things one i'm not i'm, I'm not you know in the clear on, I, I, I do take a little blame for last night. I shouldn't say, you know, I had nothing to do with it. I should have been there to support, you know, the boys in the chat. Respect that I wasn't jet. there. That's on me. Granted, well, the jet was from making a, different a run cloth. on the back nine. Okay. The second thing um, is in, in terms of the, uh, like the touch, the things like that, we're, I think we're going to, we're going to start making a serious run here. Myself. I mean, all oh, of us. Boy. Oh, but, you know, I love that and, so and, much. And oh, yeah, you got to come by next to Sunday say, for the game. <laughs> Look at Bear now. I'm hey, smiling. Now, Bear now, now, hold on. <laughs> to say that I'm 0-5 in, in picks, I get I did not say ridiculous. that. That was Bob. Not you. Not you. Bob said that. But I recall, I recall a couple weeks ago giving out uh, Arizona Cardinals plus 240 against the Cowboys and all. I, yeah, I heard crickets. He did. I heard crickets. That was, a great that, was night. A winner, that was a great night. That was a great night for everybody. I just don't think that was, was a party pick, though. Oh, I don't think it was. No, but Jets point. defense. Oh, you know what? Wanted it we, we to be. Bad. You know what our party picks was? It was Ole Miss. QB got uh, you know oh, injured in the first quarter. His party uh, picks. Um, yeah, quarterback died in the first party quarter. Picks. Yeah. 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 Okay. Over three on party picks, but this um, is the last thing I'll say though, Jet. In the future, I, I respect the hell if you don't bet the over under, but just type in the chat. Boys, but I'm I not on this one. Confirm the party the thing, but I didn't, from I didn't, it. No, but I didn't want to be the guy to like. No, no the, that's no. The, uh, see, you're better off just to say I'm not in on this one because then I know it's not a party pick. Right. Then I'll, okay, but for the record, it. it's known. I, I never, I told you, I never bet over under. It's, well, it's, I know. I, I lost it. that in the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, Jet, look, we appreciate you. We love you. Um, I think that definitely needed to be addressed. I think we all feel better now. And Jet, we'll see you for the game tonight. The you look another great, Jet. You look great. Tonight. Thanks, bro. It was a, pl it was a pleasure you, to meet you, by the way, Jet. Yes, bear Pleasure enough. to meet you. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Yes, sir. See you, All right, Jet. You take care, pal. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, our next sponsor has something real special going on in the health world. Athletic Greens. Let me tell you a little bit about Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens myself for a little bit more energy. I wanted to uh, reduce that gut. Everybody knows I had a little bit of a gut going on. Athletic Greens just about put that thing away and continues to do so. So what is this stuff? With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vit vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced, superfoods, probiotics, and optogens to help your day start right. There is no better way to start than with athletic greens. It's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy free, or gluten free. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients. 
that your body will actually absorb. It costs you less than $3 a day. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. Tastes good. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens slash dumb to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Change your life today. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Burnley Dump Show to let you know that the Burnley Dump Show is brought to you by our good friends at HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and most importantly, affordable the way that it should be. The holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh helps you keep things simple with recipes that cut back on pre-meal prep and cleanup so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. It ain't a joke in the kitchen. I'm an absolute disaster. If I don't have the step by step, if I don't have a company like HelloFresh delivering the groceries to the doorstep and taking me on my way to a damn good meal, I ain't messing around, ladies and gentlemen. Go to HelloFresh.com slash dumb14. That's HelloFresh.com slash dumb14. That dumb14 for up to 14 free meals and three free meals gifts. Again, HelloFresh.com slash dumb14 and get 14 free meals and three free gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, take it from me. Don't mess around with your food. I know I don't. HelloFresh, smash that promo code right there. I tell you what, Bob, for you to... For you to label the jet an enabler, I think that was that was a bit much to say. Oh, I you basically la- you uh, labeled uh, them an enabler, Bob. Well, you know what? Look, you're not going to see somebody who supports the jet more than I do. But I, the bottom line I is know. the fact yeah. is the fact. I think the jet has just added into the whole recipe of our issues here. Mm. And I think what he does for Cutsy, I mean, he'll have Cutsy now. Cutsy's now listening to four different people for his picks. Yeah, on, that's on, tough. On top tough. of that, I mean, the, the things that Cutsy is going is is insane. Here's our problem. Problem, Bob. His bear down was hotter than a fucking pistol. This Joe, you gotta come a little <laughs> bit away from him. He is just destroying that microphone, man. It's no, been it's, all it's, episode. The, my problem is this, okay? Bear down was hotter than a pistol this he weekend. He was. He was. And yet we're riding with other people's picks. Why in God's holy name are we riding <laughs> the ticket and jets picks when Joe, Bear Down can't miss? That's 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 a on us. That it is, is. oh, it is. It why is. am I taking tickets picks? I'll tell you why, Joe. You set, you set out a lo- cowboy. You set out a loyalty. In uh, out of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get screwed for being Joe. a loyal friend. <laughs> Joe, my loyalty gotta, is costing Joe, my you, fucking wallet. You got you you gotta stay a little bit away from that mic. You uh, you, you gotta have uh, a little bit more mic uh, presence. Uh, but it's so good. Yeah. I, all right, fellas. We got <laughs> maybe so it's one of these things here's. Yeah, crank that knob as low as humanly possible, Joe. Um, real good stuff, real good stuff, gentlemen. Um, that that really just 
really is. <laughs> so basically, Joe thinks his, his gambling portfolio, <laughs> the stock would be much higher if he was a scumbag and not a good friend. <laughs> no, probably. <laughs> no, I got to tell one more cutsy story before we go to our top. Uh, oh, our, not another cutsy story. I got one more cutsy story. So Cutsy had COVID and Cutsy, we're so happy that you're back up running and well, we really are. And it was a shame we, you couldn't join us this week. It really was. We said numerous times, man, we wish Joe was here. However, Cutsy's second day of COVID, okay, I called him to see how he was doing. And I said, oh, you know, you're probably, he's like, yeah, I'm hurting. You could tell that he's really hurting. His throat's all clogged up and everything. I said, oh, you know, have you been able to eat? He goes, yeah, well, actually dinner's on the way. The chef from his restaurant, which was so nice, shout out Drew Rosenberg, was going to bring food over to him. So I'm thinking he's going to bring him some, some chicken noodle soup or, you know, something along those lines. I said, well, well what do you have? And he goes, I'm having a porterhouse, some mashed potatoes, some broccoli. I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking to myself, nobody with COVID. Is you having the, the meal from a Michelin star restaurant? That they, no, so soup, special. No, what was in that meal? What was your COVID meal, Joe? Mommy um, packed me um, some pretzel rolls, then a, a, a butter lettuce salad with blue cheese and oh. champagne vinaigrette <laughs> dressing, cherry tomatoes, just superb salad to start off with. <laughs> yeah, the uh, truffle, truffle uh, puree, uh, potato puree. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a bone in New York steak, which caviar. was exceptional. <laughs> no, no, caviar. Caviar. no, no, caviar. That was his COVID meal. Mind <laughs> you, bear down. This is the height of it. I mean, this is when he was really. No, no, it was on the second one. It was not the height of it. It was the second, the second or third day. It was like. He might be the only one to gain weight during COVID. You, for you know? for some for somebody who complains how rough they got it, cuts he's got it pretty. He's got it. He's got it pretty decently. He does. He does. Is that, oh, I was cracking up. All right, well. Cutsy, we're back up and running. Really just a, a whole firework of events going on this morning. Um, but now it's time, gentlemen. We're, we're looking at our top five. Ask Bear Down Cuts at Joey Colt Cuts at myself. Um, we're doing a top five today. Um, phenomenal one two weeks ago. Want to come action-packed again. Um, this week, gentlemen, we are going to do top five tearjerker films. Again, that is top five tearjerker films we start off uh start off with joseph let's start off with joseph then we'll head over to myself and then we close down with bear down cuz by the way i would like to put on the record that i could almost guarantee on bear down's top five and don't change it if if i'm right bear down i can almost guarantee you have brian's song up on one of them to some magnitude cutsy will let you take it away i don't even know what movie that is um, so I, I was a little confused with the topic. I don't know if it's like <laughs> movies that make me cry or certified sad movies. So some of these movies that make me cry are not actually considered tear jerkers, I guess, in, in the in the actual sense. So, I mean, I just want to leave that down. What, 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 what would you say the ruling on that is? I think that's valid. I do. Um, I, to me, I just went with movies that I... I I could watch and uh, it, a movie that elicits a very strong emotional response is the yes. best way. Okay. That's so we're, we're in line there. Okay. okay. So at number five, I had to put a Pixar movie because these guys just, they know how to tug at the heartstrings At number five. I put the movie up. I don't oh, know yeah. if you've ever watched it. Yep. The, the, the opening scene is crushing this, this old man, they show how he established a love relationship with this woman who becomes his wife and then it shows and then she can't get pregnant and then you know full circle she ends up dying it is truly not for children it is a movie that had me blubbering like a fucking whale so so number five is up i i it is just it, it is truly a sad opening scene and the movie it's very well done if you haven't watched it go watch it and number four I'm going to get a lot of heat for this one, Bob. Uh, this one is not not considered. Uh, number four, I have Gladiator. Okay. Gladiator is, I know people are going to think of it as like a ton of violence. And this, the scene when he comes back and he's fighting for his life just to get home and to find his wife and child hanging before oh. him is, is so gut-wrenching. It's oh. and, and by the way, 
Russell Crowe, for whatever you want to say about Russell Crowe, the, the performance that he puts on in that scene is something fucking special. It is truly remarkable. I, the number four, Gladiator, that scene alone does it for me. It, it is truly a sad movie. Number three, um, number three, I'm going to go with Green Mile. Okay. The Green Mile, I don't know if you've watched Bob, clearly has not watched The Green Mile. Um, just a shame. This guy's movie knowledge is just so bad. Number f- number three, Green Mile. When you watch this just absolute pure specimen of a man who's done nothing wrong, go to sit in that electric chair. It, it's just gut wrenching. And you just feel, you just feel just so bad to see the injustice that's going on. And that it made me cry. Number three, Green Mile. Number two. Now this is a movie, one of few that Bob has watched. Goodwill Hunting. Robin Williams is so such a, just a, a wonderful character in how he's able to, to emit the motions out of Matt Damon. Um, and when when he keeps saying it's not your fault, you know, and you see you see Matt Damon break down and just embrace him because he hasn't had that fatherly figure in his life. It is truly a moment that 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 I will not forget. That that is my number two and number one. A movie that I'll watch it every single time and I always fucking, it always stirs up emotions for me is the ending scene in The Pursuit of Happiness when Will Smith is walking down the street after he just attained his dream and to see just the raw emotion of how Im- impeccably happy he is that he doesn't even know how to react. It is truly one of the most incredible scenes of all time. And it, it, it is just, you want to see something that t- tugs at the, the, at the, at your tears, tear ducts. That, that scene right there is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not as good as blubbering, blubbering like a whale. I don't, know, I don't know if a whale, I don't know if a whale blubbers or a whale is just made of blubber Joe, but either way, I thought the list was very good. Do you really? Yeah, I did. I was very. Oh, wow, thanks, gl- Bear Down. The gladiator call, and you'll see. I, 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 I thought I'd get a lot of backlash for that because nope, it's nope, not, not for really me. a sad movie. But not at for the me. end of the day, that scene is just. I think. So I think. I think the movie is very sad. I think the. I think the movie has several turns where it gets very sad. You have that scene. You have the scene where Marcus Aurelius dies. Yeah. And you have the scene at the end when Russell Crowe dies. I mean, yeah, I think it's, it's. I think it's a very sad movie at several parts. It's clearly the list went went over very well, and that leaves a, me in a tough spot because I feel like my back's always against the wall on the movies, and I, I, I feel like there's a certain buzz in the air when I go to do the movie things, like I'm going to get roasted. Um, I like my list. I feel very good about my list. My list is going to start off with E.T. at five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I want to go with E.T. at five. I think it's an iconic movie. I think it's a very emotional movie, the way it all plays out. I got E.T. at five. I don't think that's what is sad about E.T. The whole thing when he's about to die and then he tries to leave him and those people take over. Yeah, E.T. phone home. It's and and by the way, I mean a classic, an absolute classic, holds a lot of weight. I'm shocked you've watched E.T. E.T. at five. Great movie. Um, Great movie. Number four is one of my favorite movies. This is a top 10 movie for me. Newer age movie. Um, and, and I really think it's one of the more emotional movies I've ever seen. I feel very strongly about this. Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. I got at four. Mm-hmm. When he sees his kid, he's up in space. Times go by. And then he goes, do you have an issue with that one, Cutsy? Because I felt like you were going to jump on me for that. No, no, I don't have an issue. I, okay. Quite frankly, I'm shocked that you were able to make it through that movie. because no, I loved it. I thought it was great. You should have seen him try to watch Inception, Bear Down. With, within 20 minutes, the kid was <laughs> thrown in the towel. So the Too much that, going on. There was just way too much. There's a ton going on, too. I don't know how you were able to make it through that. Do you know why? Because I think I saw that in theaters. The rare time that I go to the movie theater, if, if I'm there in the theater, I have no choice but to be following along. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I thought that was incredible. Um, I got Titanic at three. And again, Titanic, an absolute classic. Um, hold another one holds a lot of weight. Um, I'm putting Titanic at three. 
And then Tutsi, we got two in the top five together. Um, I got Pursuit of Happiness at two. I mean, that one will make you cry 50 times if you watch it 50 times. Will Smith is exceptional in that. Um, I mean, I don't see how it can't make you cry there. Pursuit of Happiness at two. Um, And then at number one, my favorite movie of all time, Goodwill Hunting, for sure. Um, Book it on down there. Gets me every single time. Iconic movie. That's my top five right there. Cutsy, can we get a little bit of a drum roll, please, here? Here comes Mikey V for the top five. Let's hear it. Okay. Number five is going to get me totally fucking roasted that the fact I even ever watched this movie, but it's one of it's a very good movie, to be honest. Hillary Swank, uh, Gerard Butler. P.S. I love you. I don't know if you've ever watched P.S. I love you, but it's the tale of a woman whose husband or uh, yeah, husband, he dies at a very young age of cancer and he leaves her all these clues all over the world to explain to her that he had the cancer and like he leaves clues all over the world to try and help her get over his death. Extremely, extremely, extremely sad, but a good movie. Gerard Butler's good actor. Um, Very good movie. If you haven't watched it, very Holly very, make you watch that movie very sad no i watched it on my own accord <laughs> <laughs> number four a classic movie from my childhood that i'm going to tell you right now really screwed me up when i saw it because <laughs> i was used to this guy in home alone and used to him running around and being mischievous and having fun my girl my girl with macaulay culkin if you've ever seen it Macaulay Culkin, you never seen My Girl, obviously. No, I haven't seen it. Okay, My Girl is a classic movie with Macaulay Culkin. It's a well-known movie, and he actually develops this relationship with a girl, and they're kids, they're little kids. They develop this relationship as friends, as kids, and they, you know, they go through the trials and tribulations. She becomes his best friend, vice versa, and then he goes out in the woods, and there are spoiler alerts in these top fives to explain why this is, and he gets stung by bees, and he dies. <laughs> Of bee because he's allergic to bees. It's, you know, it's not funny, cuts. I mean, it's very sad, but you know, I mean, uh, he's a child. Wait, wait, he died by it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a car crash or something. He got stung by bees. He, he, was, he, he went into attacked by bees. Yeah, yeah. And anyone who's seen my girl listening oh, to this is going to say, honey hey, overdose. Guys, really, or slightly, <laughs> slightly, slightly, slightly heartless, to be honest. But I mean, okay. 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 <laughs> number three. Number three is, is the only duplicate I have from either of you gentlemen. The only duplicate from either of you gentlemen. Gladiator is my number three. Oh, and wow. Cuts it the nail on the head when he comes back. When 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 uh, when Maximus comes back from from war uh, from Germania and he comes back to his his estate and his vineyard and his his wife and kids and they're burnt to a crisp, just fucking hanging. Oh. Like, especially if you're I mean, for me now, now that's even a way to watch go. it. The stung by bees is not not well, a way that you're going to get. the. Tears but through. yeah, but if you saw the movie cuts and the manner in which he was like panicking <laughs> when he was attacked by bees. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get over this. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I've never legit watched the movie. So when you're explaining, can you make me a promise? Of course. <laughs> Watch the movie for me, okay? Please. I'm just say, I, I, I will. But okay. you got to understand from my part, okay, me and Bob have never watched the movie. When you're putting it as your one of your saddest movies of all time and you're, you're building up the story and I'm like, oh, man, this sounds traumatic – goes out in the woods and gets stung by bees. Yes. It just it just fell flat. You have to understand how that came across. Any anyway, that is my number 3 gladiator. Absolutely heart-wrenching situations in gladiator multiple times over. I think very I mean that very sad. Number 2, Saving Private Ryan is number 2 for me. Um, Tom Hanks at the end of that movie, obviously he, you know, he carries his whole platoon through that entire situation. He, you know, he leads men to a mission in which they want no part of because they're risking their lives and their friends are dying to rescue a complete stranger who they don't know from Adam. And at the very end, Tom Hanks, the last scene before he dies, you just see him there still trying to fight off, squeezing the last rounds off of his pistol. I mean, just absolutely brutal, brutal. I mean, the people dying in the movie throughout, but then Tom Hanks to die at the end, just very brutal. And then my number one, 
is another Tom Hanks film, uh, probably a little bit less known of a Tom Hanks film. Um, if you've seen it, you'll know exactly why I'm saying Road to Perdition. I don't know if anyone's oh, seen yeah, it's Road a great to Perdition. Movie. Road to Perdition, Jude Law. Jude Law, Road to Perdition. Paul Newman, Jude Law, Tom Hanks. Basically, the whole movie is Tom Hanks uh, is like an Irish gangster. His wife and he has two kids, two sons and a wife. The son, one son and the wife get murdered by people within the Irish mob. And he has to go on the run with his other son, who's a kid. He's like 10 years old, whatever. Didn't have the greatest relationship with the kid throughout. They, the whole fucking movie, two hours, is them just building this relationship from scratch. And at the end, Hanks gets killed right in front of his kid. I mean, it is fucking absolutely fucking brutal to sit through that scene. I remember I went to the movies with my father to go see that in the theaters. And I fucking lost my fuck. I like lost it. I lost. So road to perdition. If you yeah, have the camera seen it. right at the end, he was filming. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 We'll see what the crowd thinks. Um, really, really. I mean, a lot happened there. You had fat Perez come in off his bender. You had the jet come in, um, face the hot seat a little bit. Tremendous as always, gentlemen. Uh, Mikey Bear Down, we appreciate you. Joey Cold Cuts, we appreciate you. Cold Cuts has something to say though. Before I, we close I just want to say before we close down that I won my first, my first ever top five last episode, which was great to see. You did yeah, you did. And I got news for you, Bob. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm looking very good here to make it two for two here. And really start to put a uh, to put some some numbers up. If if we're calling a spade a spade here, the only yes. person that needs to get on the board is Mikey V. I mean, Mikey V <sighs> needs to get on the board in the top five. <laughs> I'm as worried about I'm as worried about getting on the top five on the on the board for the top. Five. I'm about as concerned about that as I am about my picks from this weekend, which went five of five <laughs> against the spread. That's about how I was concerned. But Bear Dan, you got to get on the board. You yeah, got to get, get on, on the board. It's a good if feeling. It is. Joseph got on the board there, last the week. Great and I think it's a great feeling. There are, <laughs> there's no, there's no official voting mechanism. There needs to be some type of official voting mechanism for the top five. I don't know how you're going to do it, Bob. You have the, you have the crew to be able to probably put that together. I think it should be done somehow, some way. I just feel very confident that I'm going to go two for two. Oh, well, of course you do. You felt confident after every top five you've ever given, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, Joe's never going to finish top five and say, you know what? I don't feel too good about that. No, Ever. sometimes you make a controversial pick, though. You know that some people are not going to like it. What I like, I made a controversial pick with the in and out, and I still won, you know? So sometimes the, the hot takes actually come through. Joseph, what don't you like about yourself? What what don't you like about something that you've done? Well, we could film a whole podcast on that, Bob. There's plenty of things. Okay. Another time for another day. Gentlemen, we appreciate <laughs> you. That's, that's a wrap of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. We will see you next time.